there and welcome back to the Yoga Corner. Today I have a beginner's friendly yoga class for you which I'm so excited about. The very first video that went up on this channel was a beginner's class and that seemed to be really popular. So many of you were happy to see classes that were actually beginner's friendly which I was really happy about because I love beginner's classes and so I thought I would this time do a shorter beginner's class which is a 15 minute one just in case you want to fit in some yoga but you don't have loads of time. If you are not a beginner but you found your way into this class don't worry this is just a class where we'll be talking a little bit more about alignment about anatomy and basically just explaining and understanding what we're doing whilst moving at a pace that everyone can work at so without further ado let's jump straight into it and have a really lovely beginners class we're going to get started standing up today so whenever you're ready make your way onto the mat find your way towards the top of your mat and just settle into the space I'd like you to take note of your feet. Really important part of the body when we're standing up, it's how we balance, how we shift away all of our movement, and yet it's something that we don't always give that much attention to. So as you stand here at the top of your mat, I'd like you to think about pushing the weight down through the feet, noticing all of the points where your feet are in contact with the ground, and then perhaps you can lift all 10 toes away from the ground and then think about gently placing them down one by one and planting them back down onto the mat, really allowing yourself to ground into the mat. And then with an inhale, sweep the hands up above your head, so lifting nice and tall. Exhale, float the fingertips down to the sides of the body. You might like to close the eyes here as we just tune in with that sense of connecting movement to breath. Inhale brings those hands up and overhead. Exhale, we float the fingertips down. Inhale, one more time, reaching those arms up nice and tall. Exhale, hands float down to the sides of the body. Really good. This time we reach the arms up and overhead, lifting as tall as we can. Maybe you can look up towards your hands as they meet above the head. And as you exhale this time, you're going to hinge from the hips. Allow yourself to start folding forwards as the chest moves towards the legs and you find your first forward fold. As you find a forward fold here at the beginning of our practice, just think about allowing the head to melt towards the ground, the crown of the head to actively reach itself down and the chest to melt towards the legs. With an inhale, lift up halfway, Finding your halfway lift, make sure that your spine is nice and long as the hands come towards the thighs and the chest moves forward. Exhale, soften the chest down. We'll take that two more times. Inhale to lift up halfway, lengthening through the spine, hands come to the legs. Exhale, melt the chest down, surrender towards that fold. And one more time, inhale lifts you halfway, really lengthen the spine, allow the gaze to move forwards. Exhale, soften the chest down, forward fold, plant the hands on the ground, and we're going to step the feet back to find our plank pose. In your plank pose, I want you to know that you can always have the knees down on the ground. It doesn't matter if you want to have them lifted or down, take whatever feels most comfortable to you. But wherever you are, I want you to think about spreading your fingers nice and wide and pushing the weight through the hands so you can feel a doming through the shoulders. If you've got those knees lifted, we'll take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we'll all meet with the knees on the ground. Untuck the toes and then gently bend through the elbows, keeping your elbows tucked in towards the body as you lower the chest all the way down, moving with control. Once the forehead comes down to the ground, we're gonna push the weight through the palms, roll the shoulders back, and lift the chest to find our cobra pose. Keep those elbows tucked in towards the body and a gentle bend in the elbows. Exhale, chest comes back down to the ground. Tuck the toes and lift your hips to the sky, finding your downward facing dog. As you find your downward facing dog, I want you to think about pushing the weight through the hands and gently guiding your chest back towards the thighs. You can always take a bend in the knees here, so don't worry about having the legs straight, but what I really want you to focus on is that sensation of lengthening the spine. 
with your next deep breath in, we're going to look forward to the hands and we're going to tiptoe the feet up to meet the hands at the front of the mat, finding our forward fold. With an inhale, we lift up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, soften the chest down, forward fold. Root through the feet, inhale to sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting nice and tall. Exhale, hands come down towards the heart space. Really nice. Inhale to reach those hands back up overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forwards. Inhale, lifts you halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, you soften the chest down, plant the hands on the ground, step the feet back behind you, find your plank pose. As always, knees can be up or down. Wherever you are, you take a deep breath in. Exhale, if the knees are lifted, you lower them down to the ground. We all untuck the toes and then keeping those elbows tucked in towards the ribs, we lower the chest and chin as well. Bring the forehead all the way down onto the ground. And with an inhale, roll the chest up, lifting the weight from the ground, finding your cobra. Exhale, chest softens down to the ground. Tuck the toes and then lift the hips to the sky, peeling yourself back towards your downward facing dog. Again, knowing that the legs don't need to be straight here. And thinking about taking any steps that you can to lengthen your spine. As you reach down with dog each time, it might feel a little bit stiff for the backs of the legs. So I please do invite you just to take any movements that feel good to you. You can always pedal the legs out, shift the hips from side to side, and just start to tune in whenever we practice yoga together to what your body feels like it needs. I'll be here to guide you, giving you suggestions on postures you might like to take, but I really do invite you to just tune in with your body, taking whatever you need and leaving everything else behind. Taking a full deep breath in and a full exhale. With your next inhale, you're gonna lift your left foot away from the ground, coming towards our first three-legged dog. It doesn't matter how high this left leg lifts, but I want you to think about spreading the weight evenly between both hands. As you next exhale, gently hug that left knee into the chest and look towards the hands. You're gonna to aim to step the left foot up between the hands, but if it doesn't quite make it on its own, then just wiggle it up so that left foot comes in line with the palms. Once that left foot has stepped up, you're going to soften the back knee down and release your back toes, finding your low lunge. Before we lift the arms up to the sky, I want you to gently just check in and make sure that you've got a nice right angle there with the left leg. Left knee directly on top of that left ankle. And then gently think about either lifting the hands to the hips and then lifting the chest or straight away sweeping the hands to the sky but we will all meet with the arms up above the head, rooting down through the legs and finding our low lunge. In Sanskrit, this pose is called Anjanayasana. So we gently think about lifting up through the chest, softening the hips down to the ground, allowing yourself just to gently lengthen through the spine. Take a deep breath in, Exhale, float your fingertips down, frame that left foot. Think about pushing the weight through the hands and foot. As you gently tuck the back toes, lift your back knee. You're going to shift the weight forwards and step your right foot up to meet the left in a forward fold at the front of the mat. Really nice. With an inhale, we find our halfway lift, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, soften the chest down, fold it forwards, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting nice and tall. Allow the hands to come up and overhead, maybe your gaze lifts up to meet them. Exhale, hands come down towards the heart space. Really nice. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. Exhale, hinge from the hips, folding down. Inhale, lifts you halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, we soften the chest down, forward fold. 
Plant your fingertips just in front of the feet. Your right foot is gonna stay exactly where it is and you're gonna step the left toes back behind you. Soften your left knee down to the ground and release the back toes. And once again, check in to make sure that before you move any further into this lunge, you've got that lovely right angle. This time the right knee is directly on top of that right ankle. Either lifting the hands to the hips and lifting the chest up or straight away sweeping the hands to the sky, we're all going to find our low lunge. As the arms reach up, I want you to think about allowing the shoulders to soften away from the ears. It can be really easy to hunch the shoulders up, but we want them to be nice and soft, creating space for the chest to open up. And then just think about softening through the lower body, allowing the hips to release into this lunge. Really nice, guys. Take a full deep breath in. Exhale, float those hands down, frame the right foot. Push the weight through the palms, tuck the back toes, lift your back knee away from the ground, and your right foot is gonna step back and meet the left. Hips will lift up to the sky and you find a downward facing dog. Take your time to get there. There's no rush in today's practice. Moving at your own pace and allowing yourself to take these movements in any way that feels good to you. As we all meet in our downward dog, we'll take a full deep breath in through the nose. And a full exhale out through the mouth. Allowing yourself to soften into the space. And once again, just tune in, noticing how the back of the body feels here. And perhaps whether you can allow the chest to move towards the thighs any further. With your next inhale, we're finding a three-legged dog by lifting the right leg up to the sky. Again, doesn't matter how high that leg lifts, but think about spreading the weight evenly between both hands. As you exhale, round forward, look towards the hands, and you're going to shift the right foot up between the palms. Once that right foot steps up or you wiggle it up to make its way up there, you soften the back knee down, release those back toes. Push the weight evenly between the feet, allowing that back foot to just reach back behind you and the front foot to root down towards the ground. Your left hand is going to plant down next to the right foot and your right hand is going to sweep up to the sky. So you're taking a twist over towards that right leg. Allow yourself to reach up through those right fingertips and maybe you can peel that right shoulder back slightly to create a little bit more space for the chest to open up. Really nice, guys. Take a full deep breath in. Exhale, bring that right hand down to the ground. Push the weight through the palms, tuck the back toes, lift your back knee away from the ground. We're gonna shift the weight forward. That left foot steps up to meet the right forward fold at the front of the mat. Inhale to lift up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, soften through the chest, forward fold. With an inhale, you sweep the hands up to the sky, lifting nice and tall. Exhale, hands come down towards the heart space. Inhale, you reach those hands up. Maybe you look up to meet the hands above the head. Exhale, hinging from the hips, we fold it forward. Inhale, lifts you halfway, hands to shins. And with an exhale, we fold it down. Fingertips come down to the ground, looking towards your left foot. The left foot stays where it is and your right toes step back behind you. Soften that right knee down, release the right toes. Planting the weight firmly through that left foot, right hand comes down to the ground next to the left foot. And the left hand this time reaches up to the sky, allowing you to twist your chest over towards that left leg. Creating space for the front of the body to open up by gently guiding that left shoulder back in space. Taking a full deep breath in, allowing yourself to really stabilize through the hand and foot on the ground. And exhale, that left hand makes its way back down to the ground. You push the weight through both hands, tuck the back toes, lift your back knee. And that left foot steps back next to the right, lifting the hips to the sky, final downward dog. In this final down dog, once again, find that connection with the body. Notice whether you can align yourself any more strongly in this pose by just gently bending through the knees 
and guiding the chest in towards the thighs. Taking a full deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And with our next inhale, we look forward to the hands. We can either tiptoe the feet up or take two big steps. So the feet meet the hands at the front of the mat. We're all finding our forward fold. With an inhale, we lift halfway, hands to shins. Once again, just think about rooting through the feet, using the hands against the legs to lengthen through the spine and creating as much space as you can for the front of the body. Exhale, soften through the chest and root through the feet. Inhale to sweep the hands up and overhead, lifting nice and tall. Exhale, hands come down to the heart space and we return back to that posture that we started our practice in. Once again, allow your attention to rest on all of those points that your feet are in contact with the ground. Using those feet to stabilize you as you think about lengthening all the way up towards the crown of the head. You might close the eyes here, taking a deep breath in in gratitude for yourself for taking the time to work on your yoga practice and have some movement time just for you. I invite you to bow the forehead down towards the fingertips, pausing there for a moment. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this practice and I'll see you again in the next one.